we have some big news today when it comes to the job center. A little vacancy has popped up and we all know I've gone for it. Let's go and have a look who it is. Welcome back. Episode 12, Club 2. The wonderful doll boy. We have Sanjo and Ense, which we're aware of. We have them currently top of the league. We've only dropped two points all season, and that was in a draw to Beiramar, which you can see above me. As I said, we have a little bit of news and an a application for a job that I've put in. It's a very, very sceptical one. You've probably guessed who it is. Kind of covered in the uh, process that we're looking to go through in this doll boy. But I'll show you what's happened. Before we jump into the episode though, if you have been enjoying it so far, please do me the favour of liking, subscribing, show your support on the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And as we say, as usual, give the bell a little tickle. I'll tell you as soon as the videos are uploaded. I'll run through our fixtures firstly. So since the last episode, which was our game against the Zayla, we played Uniao Lamas. We actually picked up a 4-1 win and Skoglund got himself a hat-trick. Followed that with a 0-0 against Biramar, in which Figueras got himself sent off in injury time, for some reason. And then most recently we played Overense, and we won 3-0 with another brace from Skogland, and an own goal in the first 10 minutes. So we're doing pretty well, that we're aware of. Pretty comfortable in the division and position that we're in. We have a, we have a must-respond thing here which is usually a, it's a little indicator for some importance that's happening. But before we go anywhere, because as I said, it might be the last episode. Who knows? I mean, I do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer you a cheeky spoiler here. It is the last episode with Sanjo and Ense. <laughs> uh, we'll run through the squad. We'll just see what we've been up to this year, what we're going to be leaving behind. And then I'll be showing you where we're going very soon. We've played, well, eight games that we're aware of. Scogland's currently scored eight from six with an assist. He's done fantastically. I might have a look to see if we can bring him with us. Might be ambitious. Jaumane scored a hat-trick in that one game. Hasn't done anything else, so maybe it was a bit too soon to push him in. Uh, Assists-wise, we've got Figueras at top of that, which kind of isn't too much of a surprise because he's a very, very good player. We're doing pretty well. That we're aware of. We're out of the cups, but we, as I say, put in a good show for ourselves, and I'd expect to see the team in the third tier next year. I think we've built a team more than strong enough to get up there. The only issue being, they are crippling themselves financially in offering me so many wages. As we know, the wages that we were able to spend is just shy of 22, or more just over 21 a week actually, uh, and we're playing at the moment 13 grand a week in wages. In the fourth tier of Portugal, that is reckless. One thing, we've had an update, completely forgot, uh, our financial situation up here, I've just realised, is insecure. It's not the best. Um, I've had a little little cheeky update on the kits. And I found the kits for us. So um, I have immediately found the kits and then left. But it's quite a nice kit, considering it's just black. It's all right, to be fair. I've never heard of Playoff, the, the kit maker, but that's fine. It's perfectly fine. As we know, we are studying for our National B licence. We're doing pretty well. We've got two people that, or three people that don't like us. I'm not 100% sure why, but it's fine. Should we have a little look at the uh, job that's became available? I think we should. It's not going to come of much surprise, as I kind of teased it earlier. It is with the mighty Aston Villa. They find themselves currently with Charlie Cook as their uh, caretaker manager, who, to be fair, looks... Pretty handy. This is because a certain Mr. Gerard has... Uh, oh, wait there. I'm trying to find out what Charlie Cook's managers are like. A certain Mr. Gerard has left to go and fill the position at Liverpool. I'm not sure what happened to vacate that, but it's no, no surprise to anyone that Gerard was looking to take that seat. So he abandoned ship. Villa got paid 1.6 million and left the position open, which, as I said we are looking to take advantage of. So we've already applied, and we're going to see what comes from that. But, but, 
That isn't the application or the one that we're looking at. We have been offered the position by Uniel de Lira. They are a team from the Portuguese second tier. So we're going to be jumping two divisions. Their only state or kind of request is that they avoid relegation. I'm not going to run into this too much. I'll do it in the first episode with them, which will be tomorrow. But we'll have a little butchers. They have, they have a kit. That's good off the bat. It's white. I've already got the colour up here, which is a slight change to our normal colour. Ever so slight. 23,000 seat a stadium, actually. That's massive. They've got a few rivals. Um, primarily, it's Academia, who are a pretty decent team from what I remember. They have been floating about in the top tier and then just dropped down. And most recently, they'll find themselves in the third tier. So they're our main rivals. We don't have a fantastic team. And if we go to the league and we look against our season preview, we are the furthest at the bottom because we can't take into account Braga, Benfica or um, Porto's B teams because they have no, they literally cannot get promoted. So it's impossible for them to have odds. So we are the worst odds team in the league. This is also the first time I've played since the update. So our first games are going to be on this update and I've heard a few people saying it's quite tricky. Whilst they are the favoured team to get relegated, they are only one point from kind of safety and kind of on equal, equal points to be uh, at the bottom at the moment. So they're not doing fantastically, but I think I think we can get we can get some goodness done with them. They do have a game in three days' time, which is against Tondela, who are currently seventh, and then Casa Pia a few days after that. Also, another advantage with this change, we've just got a standard league system, so we're not going to be playing like two games a month and then nine towards the end of the season. It's just a standard amount of about four to five games roughly once a week. Happy days. So I'm looking forward to that. They are still in the cup as well, which is good. So we've managed to find ourselves in it twice. They've got a few decent players, but looking at these results, it's it's the defence they need to sort out. And that's what we're going to bring to the team. So we'll go to them, we'll sort out our contract, and we will start next episode from the introduction to the team. The players a little bit more depth and what we're going to bring in. So. We have currently our wages at, um, this is also another ridiculous thing. I don't think I ever showed you. Our current contract is like 2.1 grand. Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted once more, which I'm sure if there's no surprise to anyone. We've been paid 2.1 thousand. I don't know why. I'm not expecting that from the new team. And I already know they're not offering that. But this is again, more reason as to why we're almost bankrupting this club. Because for some reason, the uh, financial director is just, lost his marbles so i'm not expecting to get that to be quite honest and i even had to speak to the board and say like can you ease upon the compensation because the other teams aren't speaking to me and they were happy to do so to be fair which was good of them so we'll go through and have a little look at our contract they want us to develop clubs using the youth system happy days play defensively solid football direct football counter-attacking football it's roughly what we do so we'll look at bringing our formation over to the club they want to work within wage budget, which we've done currently, to be fair, but it's because they've given me an absolutely disgusting wage budget. And they're looking to just avoid relegation and reach the fourth round, which I believe the team were already in, if I remember rightly, when I just looked at that. Let's go and have another little look, shall we? Uh, so currently, yeah, they're in the fifth round. So I've already exceeded it. I'm fantastic. Well done, me. So we'll start our negotiations. We'll see what we can do. Um, We are 1.1. So if I ask for one and a half, what are they saying? I like that now... Literally, for so many football managers in the past, they just had no negotiation on my current, kind of your manager's wages. They'd offer you like 19 grand and you'd say, can I have 20? And they'd be like, you can shut your face and sit down and have what we've offered you. So at least now there's a little bit of wiggle room. I'll go promotion wage rise, I'll take to 25 and relegation, I'll put to 50 and I'll ask for one and a half. 25, give me 1.4, everyone's happy. What about... <laughs> you know, I'm just going to accept it. I'm not going <laughs> to... I don't want to lose this job. So we'll finalise the deal. We'll take it and we'll start and end. Well, well, we'll end this episode and we'll start the next one on this very screen. So I hope you'll be here in tomorrow's episode where we'll run through this uh, kind of screen introduction to the team in a little bit more detail and we'll play the first game, maybe two, of our Uniao Delira 
Korea. Club three, that'll be. And uh, as I say, I hope you'll be there. If you are enjoying me ugly face and terrible voice, then scoot yourself over there, sorry, and click on one of the items. Thank you very much for your time.